This is one of the most used knives in our kitchen. It's been pretty well worn out in the last three months since I sharpened it. It tends to get banged around a lot because it gets used so much. Well, I'm gaining on it, but it's definitely not got a good edge on it. It's been rode hard and put away wet. I think it's because of the wash dishwasher. Dishwasher tends to clank things together. And I sharpened this one three months ago and it's been through the dishwasher quite a few times and I can see dings along the edges probably would be better off getting out the diamond stone and starting with a 200 grit and working my way up This thousand grit is cutting quickly. But the blade is in really sad shape. You can see though with the water on top of the stone, it's not building up that black layer of swarf. And if you use the whole top of the stone, it will wear off a lot more evenly. You still have to flatten these because they do tend to wear away quickly. That's why they cut quickly. The matrix that holds the little grains of abrasive is soft and the soft abrasive allows the grit to break free and expose new sharp edges so it maintains the cutting speed on a grinding wheel if you're cutting hard stock you want a soft wheel they call that friable Friable, in other words, it fractures easily. I don't know if they say the same thing about water stones, but I know on surface grinders, when you're cutting tool steel, 
especially something that you don't want to overheat and take the temper out of, you want to use a soft wheel. Because that will have the sharper grits exposed more frequently and it won't rub dull abrasive on the material and just heat it up. Now we're gaining. Well, I can see why. Some people would say that these water stones are a pain because if you buy a thousand grit and a six thousand grit and your knife was as bad as this one was, you'll rub on it all day long and not get anywhere. <laughs> Big difference. I knew that. I just wanted to try it, see what it did. The thousand grit stone cuts very quickly. And once you've got a thousand grit edge on it, giving it a six thousand grit edge doesn't take much work at all. I'm thinking there's probably some other steps in between. Since that's an S3, this is an S3 and this is a thousand grit stone. I'm thinking it goes thousand grit, S1, S2, S3. Because if you went thousand, two thousand, four thousand, six thousand, you wouldn't have to spend so much time trying to make the thousand grit edge perfect in order to get a good six thousand grit edge. Before I put them away, I want to go through and check the flatness on them. Looks good.
That gouge is going to take a while to wear out. But I think if I dress the stones every time I use them, like you're supposed to, to keep them flat, it should work really, really well. I want to try sharpening a plain blade with them to see just how well they do on something like that. Uh, kitchen knives, they needed to be sharpened and they were handy. It did make them sharp. And that is how I flattened two King water stones, a 1000 grit. Number 1000 and a 6000 grit, which this is an S3, which translates into 6000 grit. All cleaned up. Let them dry out a bit before I put them back in the box. Never worked with a water stone before. This 1000 grit cuts quite nicely. Uh, the 6000 grit, once you do the 1000 grit and get a good edge established, the 6000 polishes it right up. Does a nice job. I'm going to try it on a couple of plain blades. Not today. I've got enough spent time spent on this already. But First, I have to clean up my mess. Old Sneelock here again. Thanks for watching. Have you subscribed yet? If you enjoyed the video, please take a moment and click the thumbs up.